Hey everyone, this is Garrett. I'm going to be doing an uh, instructional video on how to install serving onto your bowstring without using any tools. Now I think this is going to be really useful for guys that hunt really remote areas or in the wilderness and something happens to their serving or their D-loop and you need to redo it, redo it for whatever reason. Now at the bow range yesterday this got me thinking because in between where my D-loop is on my string there's the serving that you actually put your knock onto. Well, it worn down and it broke and it started to unravel and my D-loop was the only thing keeping my serving at those two points still on the string. Now my, my knock wouldn't stay on the string because my actual bow string is too narrow for the X-knocks, which I find uh, if you shoot an insane amount, which I do, I've only had my bow for two months, the Halon, and it already wore through the serving there. And it's because those knocks are, they really pinch on your string and they won't come off unless you shoot really. Um, it, it happens so it's just a maintenance item and if you don't know how to do it you should it's all be part of becoming a more independent hunter so uh, this is how to install a serving onto your bowstring without any tools except for something sharp like either uh, scissors preferably or if you had your broadheads on you and you're out in the woods and you were doing it while you're out in the woods uh, maybe your broadhead now I will say there, there's a disclaimer I hate having sharp objects around my bowstring and I hate not having tools to do a serving. So this is last resort, don't have tools. I'm not driving six hours to go get it reserved. This is me in a desperate mode. So when I did get back home, I would reserve. Is there better ways to do this? Absolutely, especially if you had tools. But this is a technique that um, I learned from tying fishing poles that I'm applying to a bowstring. So there's the disclaimer. However, it does work and it will get you through your hunt. So hope you enjoy and let me know what you think. Okay guys, so this is the beginning of the video. I cut a small piece of uh, serving off of this larger piece I have and I tied a loop in it. Okay, and I'll be using that here in a second. I'm going to set that down here. But here's the beginning of it. I'm going to have my string here, have one end. I'm going to wrap it around itself, kind of like a crisscross knot, criss -cross knot twice because that will help hold it in position really good. Okay, so back through one more time. Da, da, da. If I can get it in there. Okay. And then I'm going to pull tight onto the bowstring. And that's pretty tight. Tight enough to where it's going to slide down, but it's not going to slide down very easy and I can still twist it. Okay. I'm going to take the remaining residual serving string down here and I'm going to wrap it. Now, you're going to wrap this, there's no set amount of numbers, because you're just going to wrap it until you get down to where you're going to start your serving. Okay, so let's pretend that I'm going to start my serving like right here. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to wrap it around itself, heading back towards my knot. Okay, does that make sense? Make, try and get a better view of it here. Back towards itself. So... We're going to go right here. I'm going to hold it with my finger, go around, and go around, and go around, until I feel that it's not going to slide off or come undone. I'm going to scrunch that back down to itself. I'm going to do it one more time just to be safe. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now I'm holding it just by the string. It's not coming undone. I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to twist this. Till, it, till this line straightens back out because I'm kind of a perfectionist. I like my stuff to look good. I'm going to put it on the back side of the string. So this string's still on here, but it's just on the back side of the string. And I'm going to keep continuing this up the string for a good ways. Okay, now at this point, you could cut the residual off. You could just snip it and be done with it. But to make it easier, because we don't have tools, we're not supposed to have tools, just, you know, maybe a broadhead or a knife, we're going to continue it and leave it on there. Okay, you can see that's still nice and straight. Now I'm keeping pretty good tension on this. You can see if I pull tight, not much slack comes out of it. It's a good looking serving so far.
Okay, so at this point, I'm going to undo this for now. Now, this is why we tied a really easy knot to unravel, because you're just going to undo it anyways. Okay, so now that that's unraveled, you can just keep going. You don't really need it anymore, right? So you can just keep going with this knot. Just keep that out of the way, okay? So we're going to keep going. Make sure you keep it tight and slide it down. Okay. Now, you could go as far as you wanted, make this the longest serving in the world, or you could, for the intensive purposes to make this video short. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and just end it right here. I'm going to show you how I end the serving. So I'm going to take that loop I made earlier. It's going to be right here. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to shove that in here like this. Okay. Like this. And I'm going to continue my wrap around it. And I'm only going to do that a couple times because I don't have pliers to pull it back through so it's going to have to be a little shorter than what I'd like if than if I had pliers I could do it you know six or eight times if I had pliers but I'm only going to do it like five times with without pliers so what you're going to do is you're going to put it through the loop there and then you're going to pull back on your loop the opposite way okay so while holding on to that Make sure it doesn't come unraveled. You're going to take the loop here and you're going to pull this back through. Where is There's the string. Okay. Pull that back through itself. Okay. Try and get a good, good look at this real quick. Okay. So I've got two ends right here. Both ends of the string coming out. You can see that my, uh, my serving is nice and tight here gonna hold on this side it's a little loose because I uh, haven't tightened it down yet but all you got to do is pull this to really get it tight and you can see it's not gonna go anywhere it's a good strong serving and I haven't used a string spreader I haven't used pliers I haven't used anything yet okay now at this point you're gonna take a sharp object whatever you have in your pack whatever you have back at camp you're gonna be really careful to keep it away from the string here okay really careful to keep it away from the string pull this back up here and you're gonna uh, cut these ends off or if you have a lighter which hopefully you have a lighter in your pack you're gonna burn these ends off here and I happen to have a lighter now these are things that you should have in your pack so burn those off there and there is your toolless serving now, you can tie your D-loop on top of that or whatever you have, whatever you want to do, but you just fix your serving with literally with a sharp object and a lighter. So that is the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm really excited about this idea. Obviously, it's something that um, everybody should learn how to do to be more of an independent hunter if they're out in the woods, but uh, this is something that I'm going to be, be able to do um, out in the woods. And I hope that you guys got something out of it as well. Now, you, I would suggest when you get back into town or get back into a pro shop or when you have tools to redo this the right way with a string spreader and everything. But this will hold um, for a long time. I mean, if you're hunting for a week, this will hold for a week easily. This will hold for a long time. But it's still not as good as a regular, um, a regular serving method. So uh, that is the toolless serving. And I hope you guys enjoy. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.